So hello everyone. Today we have Dr. Deblina with us. Dr. Deblina has done uh, a few things in digital health also. So first of all, hi Dr. Deblina, how are hi. you? Hi, good. How are you? All good, all good, ma'am. <laughs> Since everything is going great here, so I'm good too. So Dr. Deblina, especially she has done some research on water waste management. So the first question that I'll raise here is, madam, what is the potential role of digitalization yes. in water and water waste management? See, the digitalization out there came right now, but wastewater treatment plant has existed for millions of years. We can say that it started from '62 uh, onwards, 1962 onwards it started. So, the to tell the people about the digitalization, it is a new thing. Right. It will take 10 to 15 more years to actually implement it in the wastewater treatment plant. Right. Because uh, now what I have seen some of the foreign employment, there are people who are working the whole plant on the digital system. And there are no people out there. Okay. The whole plant, only just one button and everything is done in the process. Okay. But that also has its uh, cons. You can say there is a pros, there is a con. And that con is uh, when you are removing the person from there. Right. A human. A human resource. There. Yes, yeah. a human resource because a human resource have the quality to smell, to see, to observe, to know. All the elements are there. Uh -huh. yeah. All the elements are there. And that a machine cannot do. When some leakage is out there, there are chances that he will know that, but the machine won't be able to okay. understand. So a person who is sitting out there, he won't be able to recognize that where the problem is. Where the fault is actually. Yes, actually, where yeah. the fault is, where the fault is. So there is a, this thing that only one person is working out there and everything is digitalized and everything is going as per the norms. Right. But how much is the treatment, whether it is going on in a perfect way right. or not, that still requires a human intervention. Um, since you talked about human intervention, mm -hmm. so what should we believe that digitalization is not favorable here or we do have to need another 5-10 years to get into the right essence of that? Yes, we need that thing and means time, we need the time for the people Time and to more, understand. better technology. Yes, more better technology where we are not replacing the humans. Right. We are in incorporating the technology with the people out there. That's a very bold point she has said. Replacing the humans would never be done by AI or any other machines. Human definitely needs to be there even to handle the machine and even to look at, look after each and everything. So, ma'am, that is again a very good point. So, the second thing that I would like to ask you is, uh, what is the role of digitalization in epidemiological diseases? Yes. Right? There have been there has been COVID. There has been other diseases which has been like bombarding on us yes. continuously. So, what do you think is the role of them? Main thing they are right now after the COVID we get to know more about the digital world right. to be more precise. Earlier we had the paper and pen technique that of we course. were now we are more into laptops and all that. Even for conferences and all we go for the virtual ones. Right. But the main crux out here when you there is a pros as I said earlier there is a pros there is a con. So when you are going for epidemiological data, mm -hmm. so that. There, that is a humongous data. Of course. That, that takes a lot of time for generating what is the conclusion of these data that right. we are collecting. Right. right now we are having that smartwatch where we are taking our heart rate. Where this data is going? What is the need of that data? Right. Where of course. we are putting that data? So that data needs to be put in a proper way so that the people can understand. Because for a layman, he won't be able to understand if you are taking my uh, this uh, health data and all that, right. where you will be using it. Of course. So they should know about and they should know that these are the diseases that is coming. Right. After COVID, we know earlier we were not aware, aware of the COVID also. Right. We came to know about COVID. Now there are other things that is coming up. Mm -hmm. There are other I mean, like dengue, like cholera and all that. Right. Malaria. Right. Malaria, Malaria was well. eradicated from India. Right. Again, there are cases right now in Africa where malaria is, a lot of data are coming from mm -hmm. malaria. Mm -hmm. So how we justify that data? Uh -huh. There the need of this uh, digitalization so, is important. Like what you meant to say was that we have all the data with us, but we do not know how to make an analysis of yes. that. The right analysis. Yes, the right analysis. For the that future prediction. Where the digital uh, we 
situation is actually helping us. Okay. That is completely fine. And that also helps us. Means during the COVID, there was one study out there in Sweden. Mm-hmm. But in Inter, since I am working on wastewater, mm-hmm. so there were the wastewater treatment plants where the water from all the COVID areas, mm-hmm. they are just looking into where the where it is found that most of the cases are found. Right. So just they, they have linked that area. So okay. So they don't have to visit that area to know right. from where it is coming. Right, of course. Only just they have to know that this is the area from where the wastewater is coming which is having that virus. Right. So they don't have to monitor it continuously. Yes, they don't have to go there visit personally also. Right, right. Because right, at right. that time it was not feasible also to go out there and meet the know that there are patients because some of the people are Letting us know some are not. Right. Some are having it and then they are in the homes and they are just recovering out. Right, of course. So we don't know about the exact data. The exact data came out from the wastewater. Right. That is coming out from the homes. Right. So and this that, was a study in Sweden. Yes, this was a study in Sweden and this study is again followed in IIT Gandhinagar also. Okay, in, in Gujarat. Yes, yeah. in Gujarat. Yeah. So they have also done the study where they have collected the data of the hotspot areas right. from where this water is coming. Right. And that there the digitalization has helped a lot. Of course. It is a boon for them, but there is also means how we can interpret that data only so that we can understand that uh, when they published that paper, when they came up with this uh, this article, right? then we came to know, okay, this is the way they have found right. out. But as you say, publishing the paper is not uh, all no, that we need. Yes. We need to work upon that. We need to work upon that because a layman should know what is the use of that data. Of course. Because uh, at that time, uh, there was a simple thing that was given that the use of bleaching agents that right. we used to do for washrooms earlier, mm-hmm. it could have been eradicated there for the season. Right, right, the right. COVID virus right. Like this. But its practice has stopped. Right. We are using now more of a synthetic, like we are using uh, that, uh, I don't want to name any company uh-huh. out there, uh-huh. but we are using chemicals. Actually, right. And that creates all the problems for the naturally occurring microorganisms in the waste system. That, that is a boon for us. They are there, they are working continuously, but and with the bleaching agents, nothing is being harmed to them. Right. But when we are using strong chemicals out there, that is a problem for us. So advancement is not always great. Yes. Sometimes adv- advancement could lead to worse yes, things. Yes. Right. Now, now, now the advancement, about the advancement, we are using RO. Right. But now the government are removing the RO plus. Right. Why? Because we are bereftting of all the minerals right. that is there. Right. There is a problem of vitamin D, which was earlier not there. Right, right. There are problems of uh, bone deficiency mm-hmm. and all that, which was earlier not there. Mm-hmm. So all this, because we are connected with nature in some way or other. Right. If we are putting some advancement or technology, that is good. If we are putting the digitalization, that is good. But we should not eradicate it totally the natural way of working right 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 that way has come up from several many million years yeah and eradicating them uh, that in a like span of time yes would not be right of course would not be right would not be right people have lived long earlier as yes, well yes uh, because if you see the life expectancy it has reduced right from earlier earlier right. people were we used to see that 99 95 was right. not a problem but right now 50 60s uh, you don't know <laughs> it's a burden on us <laughs> yes yes you don't know we are accumulating so, all the toxins right now and uh, though we are in the digitalized world and with the digitalization we are facing some of the problems means some of the health issues also are mm-hmm. coming that, that is a little part because when you are using a digital smart watch out there for a longer period mm-hmm. of time it has also the cons side effects side effects what kind of side effects would you like to mention then? yeah it's it has a side effect like you are con- com- uh, continuously exposed to some of the radiations some of the radiations of course yeah. yes which invariably would not have been exposed to until unless you are right. using that one. and any radiation could be harmful for yeah us. any radiation continuously on your skin right that could even leave, leave a patch there yes even get to a skin cancer yes. it could lead to it, anything it could lead to a lot of your health issues right because we are understanding, now if you see uh, during the COVID or the, in the, during the pandemic, we were working at it on the laptops. Right. After the COVID, so many have their powers. Right. 
eyes the same having, as the, the same as the case with me <laughs> yes so they were having powers they were having uh, migraines and all that issues that were and the most important they are having now lots of diabetes cases right because of the stagnancy mm-hmm. of the stagnant life that we are leading right right, now. right 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 so these have the forms also it is good that they are deciphering the data huge data that we have mm-hmm. but that should be done in a proper way so that a layman can understand that where they can use that right, in a proper manner that should proper be proper manner right and we cannot replace we cannot replace with the ai the mm-hmm. human minds mm-hmm. they are far 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 more advanced we should not say that we will be replacing we will be replacing all the people who are working there right so right. that, that could be done later in the years later in the years but <laughs> with the advancement of us also because right. we have to go at that point also after 10 years uh, or after 15 years maybe there will be totally a world which is running on digital right digitalization right. all the digital technologies they are using out there even if you want a glass of water you know what is the ph and what are all is there right that will be their case after some time but still if we are not there it is a boon for us that definitely sounds like a miracle <laughs> to me right now so uh, dr devi lena i would like to ask you one more thing that is there anything that you would like to tell our viewers about 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 any epidemiology or anything that that could help them in the future see the epidemiological uh, this thing diseases right this, with the pandemic when it came mm-hmm. uh, you will be surprised to know coronavirus was always there yeah i heard always scrs there. covid 1 was in uh, south korea in 2015 it, as well it was in there so uh, sars cov that was there but right. the the coronavirus particular coronavirus is always there mm-hmm. it is within within the nature itself mm-hmm. but it has aggravated right okay. so when it ag- how it aggravated we need to understand that right means if you see that there were people who are dying because their immunity could not take that right right right, right of course so they are not exposed to that uh, what you call pollutions and all that mm-hmm. but some people they have survived they have come up with right. so the in some of the pandemic we are just know it is there but it, we don't know the actual other form of that right but in the near future with the climate change with this thing there will be lots of your ice melting mm-hmm. and still some of the viruses are intact in the ice Right, right, right. They will be melting at the cloud will, temperature. Yes. Right. So they will be coming into the waters. Okay. Or into the any of the areas out there. Right. So that will create a different number of your microorganisms, uh, different pandemic or different epidemic that right. will be created, which we are not aware. So this digitization can help us in knowing that which exact area is the hotspot area. Right. From where the there are chances that. this type of microorganisms will be coming right and so that that can be used in that way also and again we also have to stop the global warming and uh, yes. so that this could not happen <laughs> yeah that that is still that i don't know whether it will happen or not mm-hmm. because uh, global warming as a continuous we are coming with alternatives right. we are not thinking of stopping it right right of course uh we are coming with electric cars we are coming with uh, ethanols and bioethanol right. and all that right. so all the other option alternatives but Where to stop the actual source? We are not thinking of that. Right. So why not search about that? That these are the pandemic that had happened. Next, what might had happened in five years that we have to predict by this information. Right. Right. That was a very wise answer to this. So we had enough of talks about climate, water, and everything else with Dr. Devi Lina. It was a lovely time speaking to her. Thank you, Dr. Devi Lina. Thank you so and much. And stay healthy. Thank you.